have someone audition you. Am I really talented? And this hurts, but I'm, what your mother says is not necessary. If your mother says you can sing, mm, no, your mother thinks you're cute. You know, get someone who actually... <laughs> You putting women in top, money behind, you losing a game. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm the like, love. Yeah. 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 Said I'd be fine, never the car, she couldn't uh -huh. again. I'm gonna give her a little bit. I'm gonna give her a little bit. Hi, guys. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, today, I'm keeping it real. And I'm gonna be talking about. I don't know what that is. Okay. So, today, we're talking. Stand up on SABC. Oh, not SABC. Mm -hmm. Scandal on ETV. And um, I want to talk to. Oh, Batabile, she's here. I want to talk to Batabile. Let me wave. I want to talk to Batabile about um, her character, Grace. So before I connect with her and um, talk to her, I just want to just talk about Grace a bit so that everyone knows who Grace is. So Grace is a character on Scandal and she 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 is the boss man. She's the one with the monies. And she recently got married and her marriage is filled with a lot of drama. So I don't know if we're gonna delve into the marriage because I wanna talk more about the, her acting career and all the lessons she's learned uh, along the way. So that's the idea. Let me take the light down a bit, wait. It's a fire. Yeah, it's fine. So if you're watching this on Instagram, that's nice. If you are gonna watch this on, on YouTube, please remember to subscribe and like and also comment. So yeah, we'll talk. Uh let me request with Batabile here and let me talk to her. Let me not waste her time because yeah, she's a busy person, you know. Hi <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, I didn't know why. Yeah, I'm hiding, man. I'm hiding. I'm, I'm <laughs> hiding. I don't want people to see you, to know where I am and all this other thing. I'm like somewhere in a place far away. <laughs> Thank you so much for um for chatting to me tonight. Thank you for coming through because I, I thought maybe she will be busy, you know, you know these things. You know you're a busy person. So I thought maybe you would be too busy to be talking, you know. No, never too busy for you, no. <laughs> okay, that's, that's cool. So I met you back in 2018, and for some, like, the reality is, when I met you, I didn't know who you were. And yeah. um, after a bit, I realized I, someone told me who you are and what you do. I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> you keep it simple. You're chilled about it. You don't go, chatarachi. You don't want people to know that. They're, like, super cool, man. How, how how do you how do you manage to keep it simple look um it i'm i'm naturally a very quiet i am super shy i'm very private um i it's it's easy it's easy to just sit in a corner and exist without necessarily <laughs> without necessarily being a part of a part of the crowd you know um it's just who i am i'm i'm super chilled i I know who my friends are. I hang out with the people that truly really care for me. And that's, that's just that. Okay, okay. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to check something uh, as well. How long did it take you to get to being Grace? Because Grace is a powerful woman. Usually, yeah. it's not easy to get like a character like that. How yeah. long did it take you to get there? And how... Uh, like The thing is, I want to understand because... Most kids think acting is just, you act, you get a chance, you go to auditions, you get the job. Yeah. How was your journey? I was fortunate enough to have a teacher in high school who recognized that mm -hmm. I, I, I have talent. And she suggested that I go and study drama at TUT. At the time, it was still in Concretoria. So I went and I did my BTEC there. Um, luckily for me, my dad did not have issues with me pursuing what I did not even know was my dream at the time. I just knew. Oh, I yes. Business, but yeah, I thought I was going to go into marketing and advertising, things like that. So um, I studied drama. And what's nice about uh, um, educational background in the arts is that you get to learn or discover 
other talents that you didn't know you possessed, you know? So I've got to grow. Yeah, you know, I, I've got to grow and, and understand um, the type of an actor I am. So oh, yeah. Going, in, yeah, going into the industry after graduation, I started, um, like really I had humble beginnings, you know, industrial theater, children's theater, puppet theater in the streets, and, and, and things like that. So it, the journey was long, yeah, but I learned everything that I needed to learn as a young actress um, when you don't care about paying the rent yet, when you don't care about... Oh, yes, 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 you know yes, I mean? yes, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you get to other extra friends and like, and, you know, something will happen. No, let's do drama, go some high school and things like that. So I, I, I have that kind of background. Oh, that's nice. I, yeah, I was fortunate enough that um, when I then decided to go into television, my biggest project was, my biggest role was on Generations, which at the oh, time yeah. was the biggest TV, uh, TV show. In um, South Africa, yes, yes. Right? Yes. Um, yeah. And so then my love for TV, because coming from a theater background, developed from, from, from there. Um, Scandal was just, I cannot tell you how many auditions I went to for Scandal. You know, <laughs> where you don't get, you don't get the role, you don't get the gig, big roles, small roles. I just wanted to be on Scandal so bad that um, when I finally did go for um, the audition in 2015, the casting director says, I know you, you have auditioned for us so many times. <laughs> And I'm like, what, really? <laughs> it it like, me. So, yeah, and, and she was like, um, your, um, your role, I feel that you're going to get this role. If they don't hire you for this role, then I really, I don't know. And oh, yeah. Was, yeah, and, and what I talk to other actors about all the time, young actors particularly, is that when you go to an audition, go there looking the part. The reason she remembered me is um and this is um stephanie sundowns who plays um ingrid on scandal um right now she, oh the, yes yes she, she, she's, she's casting director at, at scandal the reason she remembers me is because if they're looking for a maid i go there looking like a maid if they want a doctor i go there looking like a doctor so then you you're memorable you know oh, yes. so, yeah just you don't know how happy i was when when that call finally came and my agent was like ah, we made it <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't want to talk about Grace that much, but she just got married. Uh, <laughs> yes. oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the marriage is full of drama, man. Like, there's a lot of drama there. Yeah. Uh, how, 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 how do you relate to Grace as yourself, Batabi? Like, what's your relations with, with Grace? <laughs> oh, my word. I am nothing like Grace. I, I, I am nothing like Grace. Um, the only thing that I have in common with her is, is that we're very gentle people. We're quite, we're both very quiet and reserved. And that's just about that. And I think she's stealing from my personal life within that regard. <laughs> because I, I wanted to, I wanted to ask something, man. Yeah. Because you are rich there on Scandal. And a Scandal is like a soapy that happens every day. People... Yeah think you are that person in a way do you feel the pressure to be or to look rich on on, on the streets or what what's the idea <laughs> how do you have to be in the streets like what's the idea <laughs> see i don't have my face beat on this was done deliberately <laughs> i i wanted to just come on and look like Batavile. i'm wearing my glasses oh yes you know, the wigs are off, um, but Grace doesn't do wigs anyway. But um, I wanted to look like me because then it, it, it makes it easy. It, it's sort of interesting for a viewer to get to know the actor behind oh, the character. Oh, yes. You know, um, but no, you know, uh, South Africans are very clued up as to what happens on TV. People Wait, your, yeah. your people are laughing at you here. They're saying, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, it's just laughter only. I thought maybe they were saying something, but it's fine. Okay, so uh, another question I wanted to ask you is that you do theater. I know you, you do a lot of, of television with Grace yeah. all the time because that's like a daily job. But you do theater on the side. That's like your business, the, the gig. Uh, yeah. How is business 
and acting joined together because usually you, know, you just want to get the job get the glam forget about business who, who cares about that part if you're getting yeah. paid what's the point so why do you feel like it's important to have your own business and make acting a business on its own you know what i i always say that by virtue of being an artist it does not matter what type of an artist you are an entrepreneur as as, as oh, creatives yes. we create for the purpose of selling the product so whether you're the producer or not you are se selling a service um a show is not complete if there's just the producer the writer and the director we need um b background artists we need wait, wait, wait. wait i'm sorry someone is saying love from zim you you should check there just say hi to them i feel like that's very important uh oh my tab gosh. yes yeah so see. yeah so much I you can't see. see no love from zim her name is puffy p3 something like that just say hi it's fine she'll be fine uh, you can't see it's fine, I really can't. It's I fine. Oh gosh, if i find it if i find but they're watching so puffy hi yeah it's up there somewhere and then uh, if someone says we love you girl keep on shining and have fun oh, with hi. that band 10 so yeah, then, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, can't type, I can't type and do this at the same time. I'm so I'm like. But nah, it's I, fine. <laughs> Hello, you can just talk to me. I, I'm, I'm receiving all the love, and I love you all. Guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you are still talking business in the arts. Yes, I'm saying. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, no, no. That's fine. It's it's very important that we do realize that as artists, we are um, entrepreneurs, directly or indirectly. So. Um, we sign contracts, we negotiate contracts, we, oh, yeah. um, if, you know, if, if you're a sculptor, then you, you sell your sculptures, you know, if you're a painter, you sell your paintings. So it, it makes no sense for us to then neglect the business, the business side, side of showbiz, you know, um, and to a greater extent, I, and I don't want to use the word blame, but I feel like um, institutions of learning, um, be, be it formal institutions or, or informal institutions, forget to teach us that or to train us um, as such. You know, we, we, we're trained on, on the talent and you're an actor, act, and you're, you're a drawer, you know, draw with, you know, within your lines and things like that. But we forget. And then what happens with this painting once I'm done? You just spoke to me right there. Like the education system in South Africa is meant for us to have jobs. It has exactly. nothing to do with business. So yo, I realized only later, obviously uh, with me when I was at school or like high school and all these other things, I always had like business ideas. Mm -hmm. My thing was that my head told me that what I'm learning now has nothing to do with the next thing. It was just to pass there and get over it you get it so yeah. you you just blew my mind right now that's like super cool <laughs> so um, social media you yes. just came into social media you were not on social media no. when i met you 2018 you were not <laughs> like zero like you would search your name you would not find anything how has the social media journey been it's how much are you learning I, 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 I am learning, I, look, I'm realizing just how little I know about social media. I mean, I was texting you behind the scenes now wanting to know, so how do I do this? Listen, I'm, I'm terrible at this. I, I post when I remember. I, and the thing is, I am private, but I, I need to learn where the line is between showing, ex, um, exposing too much of myself and not, and just exposing what I think people want to hear. But my, bo my, my life is so boring. I, I, I tell you, ex, I go to work, I come back, I go home, and that's it. And I'll, I'll go out with, 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 with my friends here and there, but I live the simplest life. And so sometimes I feel like no one is interested in what I'm having for dinner. Seriously, but have you lately? Oh, yes. <laughs> but no, we want to know. We want to know what you eat. You know, people want to know. Uh, Mr. Msibi is asking, yeah. Mr. Msibi is saying congratulations on your marriage, by the way. <laughs> and uh we should mama is straight uh, and then quick question uh he says what was the quick question let me go we lost audio someone says we lost audio can everyone not hear us or what okay uh, and then he says 
quick question. How do you do it? I mean, keep your private life private. I don't know if I remember you answering that. Do you want to answer it again? I, sometimes I feel like we, we make these decisions. Ne? Oh, yes. We, and, 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 and sometimes it's a business decision to push yourself out there. And I realize um, as a performance artist that um, by keeping my life as private as I have, I am cheating myself of potential earnings. When a brand yes. wants to say they like the, what I'm doing, uh, what my what what, what I um, oh, what's this? What I'm doing with Grace, and they would like you know to I don't know have me uh, endorse something. They look at my oh, yeah. three thousand followers and they're like, ah, this one, this one's not gonna sell the product, you know. So I I, I realize this, but it's, it's a conscious decision that you make. So, sometimes yes. there are people who go out there and look for attention. And they get it. Yes. And they go home and complain about it. Be like, oh, they do everything. Like every, when, yeah. when we say everything, we mean everything. Like yeah. if they yeah. see something being liked somewhere, they go do that. Whatever is trending, John yeah. Vulicate, they go John Vulicate. Exactly. Right. You know? Um, no. So, yeah, so it was a decision that I made um, a long, long time ago when I was still a young actor. And I don't regret. I don't regret it because I I have first have to be true to myself. Otherwise, I'm going to put stuff on social media that even I don't believe. So yeah. And then you. The thing is, here's my thing. I I I everything every time I do something, I'm like, whatever I'm doing now. If my kids were to ask me ten years from now, or someone was to ask me ten years from now, would it be something that I would want to change? Or would it be something that I want to keep? You get it? So I'm like, yeah. I'm not yeah. playing that game. I'm not yeah. going to explain myself 10 years from now. If I say something like now, that means I believe in that thing right now. If exactly. you ask me tomorrow, I might explain it uh, explain it to you differently depending on how much I've learned then. Yeah. But I won't really regret saying it. You understand? Because I thought about it beforehand. So um, the other thing I wanted to ask... Is I met your mom. Uh, your mom yes. is free spirited, man. Like yo, she's super chilled. I, I was like, oh, <laughs> like she, she she reminded me more of my mom because my mom was like, okay, what do you wanna do? What when you wanna do that? She's like, okay, do it. How much do you need, or what do you need from me? So I wanted to ask, how much did your parents have to do with you choosing acting and? Uh, what advice would you give to mothers out there when it comes to giving their kids support when it comes to careers? So um, my father, particularly, um, who was not educated at all, I mean, he barely finished high school, um, was, he, he had the, I'm going to say education. He had enough education to recognize that he can't be living um precariously through me he wanted oh, yes. me to be, you know he wanted me to be a doctor and i can't add like one plus one i have to think about it <laughs> you know i'm like yo i'm going yeah, to be a yeah. terrible doctor so when when then it was presented to him that um this is the route that i wanted to take one yes he was disappointed but he never stood in my way um, oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? And to top it all, my younger brother, um, who is five years my junior, when he finished high school, he thought, "Well, I'm gonna be a musician." And my father's like, "Yo, <laughs> second person going to the arts." <laughs> um. So it's 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 very important for for art for for parents to realize um whatever potential that there is in a child and and oh, yes. and and. Yeah. and Steer them in the right direction. Yes, go to school and, and get education. My father was like, if you're gonna, if you, if you're gonna be sketches as a house, I hear that then you can get a degree. Then go do 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 the. Do, oh, um, you know what I mean? Oh, do, yes, do I mean? yes, yes. Exactly, and and that that has helped me a lot. Um, but you can't stand in the way of a child, um, that wants that has a career path that they want that, that they want to pursue or follow it's it's unfair and you will have you know young adults who are not happy in what they do 
Oh yes, I literally just had goosebumps. Like when you said uh, the important thing is to make sure that they they don't just go to that acting gig without the proper education. Get the skill to do that. Don't yes. just get out and say I want to do music. Okay, go to school for music. Yes, that makes sense because the thing is, it's just learning the discipline. School yeah. is not about um, learning how to do it. It's about learning how to discipline yourself in that exactly. craft. Exactly, and it doesn't have to be formal education. It can be go Sunday school. Maybe there's a band. Then go. Do yes. you really want to play the guitar? Do you really? Let's see how you do in church. And if you see that, oh, the, at first they're learning the piano. They're then they're picking up the guitar, and then they're picking up the trumpet. They, you know, maybe this child is onto something. And it's hard. Yes. I'm not a parent. So I'm saying this. It's easy for me to say this. But um, I, I understand that there are kids who today they want to play soccer. And then a week later, they've thrown away the soccer boots. And now they want to take up, to take up boxing. As a parent, you know your child. And you know, you, we see times. Like now my mother tells me stories of how um, when I was younger, I used to play with my grandmother's chickens. And she thought that I was going to be a teacher. So oh, yeah. when I'm an actor, she looks back and it's like, ah, this one has always liked attention. She wanted to be in front and have everyone else. Oh, back. yes. You know, so you, you, you know your child. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's nice. So um, <clears throat> the kids, uh, when it comes to acting and uh, getting the gigs, uh, yeah. obviously you've been in this industry for a long time. You graduated 2001. That's yeah. a long time ago. I think I was <laughs> 11, oh somewhere there, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> now I look older than you. You see? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, what would you say to the kids? Like, uh, how, 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 how can they take tackle acting? Like, what, what's the, what, how to do it? I think discipline with everything else in life, you, you have to first understand what the industry is about learn, oh, yes. learn do your research learn about about whatever industry it is that you want to go into and make sure this industry in particular is is tough it is brutal so it's important that you know that this is what you want to do you have got to know it in the core of your being that you want to be here don't do it oh, for yes. the fame. Oh, don't do it for the money. Because when it goes that bad, you... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> um, it, 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 you, you, you have got to know. And, 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 and talent. Talent is important. Ask around. If you are in metric and you want to do... You want to go to theatre school next year, go to a drama department of your choice. Or to the oh, yes, yes. theatre. Have someone audition you. Am I really talented? And this hurts, but... Um, what your mother says is not necessary. If your mother says you can sing, mm, no, your mother thinks you're cute. You know, get someone who actually, <laughs> someone who's, who's, who does what you do and if, if someone who does it well and, 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 and get advice from them. And once you've decided and you've done your research, speak to your parents and, you know, take the necessary steps. Okay. That's nice. Thank you very much. Uh, you, you just opened my mind because I also realized that uh, I wanted to be a doctor. Ne? Yeah. I got an opportunity. At the, I went to a hospital where my uncle, relative person worked. But yeah. I never went into the hospital side. I was at his place instead of going right. to the hospital. But yeah. I was there. So I'm like, like now when I look back, I'm like, uh, the reality yeah. is I was not really interested in that thing, you know, <laughs> but I thought I was. So try it out. Yes. So that's amazing. So thank you very much for today. I don't know if there's anything you want to add on. Maybe you can give me like a stop. stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what time is it? That's yeah. what's happening on Scandal in Five. Yes. Oh, man. No. The producer. You know, you know, you know I can't do that. <laughs> if I tell you, you're not going to watch. People Maybe you can tell me. Watch. You can tell me everything for this month. When it comes to great. <laughs> Hey, we need those AR. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate you for, for giving me your time. Thank you very much. Uh, I love And thank you for taking a chance on... 
<laughs> you know, I just, can I just say thank you, um, not just to you, but to, to everyone who, who has joined us um, live tonight. Um, I've, I've not been, you know, typing and responding because ish, this multitasking thing is it's not really <laughs> a thing that Your I opinion. Know, but Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you for all of your comments. I really, really, really appreciate the love and the support. And I love you all so very much. Thank you very much. So we'll Thank talk. Thank you. Yes. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. That was Batabile. That was amazing. Just want to say your... Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for everyone who came here. So we talked a bit about acting and all that. So just take it serious, man. Oh, everyone is saying thank you to Batabile. That's nice, Master CB says thank you uh, for deciding yeah? for deciding to use the platform. Oh, yes, yes. Because she did, she didn't. She like the thing is, uh, Batabile has didn't have social media for the longest of time. And she's trying by all means to get into this. That's like super amazing. This was like, I'm sure this was her first live on Instagram. So just taking that chance. That's like super amazing. So thank you very much. Thank you to everyone. Go watch Scandal. Learn about Grace a bit if you, have, you don't know her. We'll talk some other time. That was me. I'm done out here. I'm not going to say it too much because she said enough, man. Thank you. I'll see you guys on Monday. Yes, what? Because rejoice. Because rejoice. There's people. They wish to be here.